So I'm going to talk about how to estimate the sums and differences of fractions. <clears throat> Let's take 5 sixths plus 3 eighths. So what I would do with this is round 5 sixths, round 3 eighths, and then add them together. So <clears throat> we talked in class about benchmarks. Our benchmarks are 0, 1 half, and 1. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to figure out where 5 sixths is and see if it's closest to 0, 1 half, or 1. So these are sixths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 5 sixths would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, would be right here. 1 half is here, 0 is here, 1 whole is here, and it is, despite my um, off-scale drawing, it is closest to 1. So I'm rounding 5 sixths to 1. Now 3 eighths, I'm going to draw 3 eighths on a line as well. So there's fourths and eighths. So 3 eighths is going to be right here. One, two, three. Now this is about half. This is one hole, or this is one hole and this is zero. Now this is clearly close, closest to one half. <coughs> That's 3 eighths right there. So. I rounded 5 sixths to 1 whole, I rounded 3 eighths to 1 half, and I get 1 and 1 half. So this is about 5 sixths plus 3 eighths is about 1 and 1 half. <clears throat> now, here are some tips that will help figure out what, uh, what your benchmark is <clears throat> for the rest of these problems. If the numerator is pretty close to the denominator, like this one, 5 is very close to 6, then you round to 1. This is because um, <clears throat> 1 whole is going to be 6, 6, 7, 7, 8 eighths, 9 ninths, 10 tenths, and so on. So if this number is 1 less than that, then you know it's right, it's just one little piece away from being 1 whole. So if these, once again, if the top and bottom, the numerator and denominator, are very close to each other, then this is close to 1. <clears throat> for numbers that, um, for fractions that are smaller than one-fourth, this doesn't work for two-thirds, or this doesn't, doesn't work for two-thirds, or, and it's, it doesn't really work that well for three-fourths either. So for fifths and, and smaller, um, that's a good rule. <clears throat> now, if the numerator is about half the denominator, you round to one-half. This example here, you have 3 eighths. Well, I know that, well, half of my denominator would be 4, so half of, one half would be equal to 4 eighths. 3 is really close to 4. 3 eighths is close to 4 eighths. So I know that 3 eighths is, is about one half. So these are your rules of thumb that you can use as you're doing these, okay? So 5 ninths. Well, 5 ninths is, uh, 5 is not close to 9, so it's not Oh, one last one. This number is way less than a denominator. Round to zero. So if your denominator, if your numerator is one, you can round to zero, basically. Um, <clears throat> for uh, probably well, again for one fifth and and smaller. One fifth, one sixth, one seventh, and so on. For for one half, one third, one fourth, it doesn't work that well. But those are pretty easy. You can usually figure them out. <clears throat> Five ninths minus three eighths. So. I know that 5 is not close to 9, so it's probably not close to 1. Now, uh, what's half of 9? Well, it's 4 and a half, but if you can't see that 9 is 4 and a half, that's okay. What's half, of, what's half of 8 and what's half of 10? Half of 8 is 4, half of 10 is 5. Okay, and f uh, 5 is within this, so f half of 9 is going to be in between these two. 5 is really close to both of these numbers, so I'm going to say this is 1 half. Now 3 eighths, now I know this is an even number, so that's really easy. Half of 8 is 4, uh, 4, so half would be 4 eighths. 3 eighths and 4 eighths are really close to each other, so this is also 1 half. So 1 half minus 1 half is 0. So I would estimate this to be about 0. If you found the real answer to this, it would probably be very, very small. It wouldn't be exactly 0, 
but it would be so much less than one half that you could round it to zero. Okay, now let's look at five sixths. <clears throat> the numerator is very close to the denominator. Five is close to six, so I can round that to one. Now two fifths, that's a tricky one. Um, two is not close to five, and this is not a one either, so I'm not really sure what to do. Um, so I'm gonna figure out uh, what's half of five. Well, if you can't see that f half of five is two and a half, and that's okay, just look at four and six. So what's half of four? It's two. What's half of six? It's three. So um, half of five would be somewhere, somewhere in between two and three. And two is in that range. So I would say this is about one half. This is about one half of five. So this, this, is, uh, this is a one, and this is a one half, and I'm adding them together, and my answer is one and one half. Now, <clears throat> now there's number four. Number four, I have nine tenths. Now, the numerator is very close to the denominator, so I know I can just make that a one. One ninth um, is very close to zero. There's a one in the numerator. Um, four, uh, half of nine, as we found here, is between four and five, and this is not close to that. So it's not close to half, a st and the numerator is definitely not close to nine, so this would have to be zero. One minus zero is one. And that's how you estimate fractions. Remember these tips, and it should be a piece of cake. Also, um, for those who are, who are struggling with this, <clears throat> although I, I don't generally want students to use a fraction strips, like these, I generally don't want students to use fraction strips. Um, if you're really, really struggling with, with um, how to how to estimate these, I would suggest printing one of these out, but only if you're really struggling. I, I, I'd like you to get away from using this. You will not have this on the test. This should just be to get you started if you're really, really stuck. So for example, I'll just do one problem using fraction strips just to so show you how you can use it. So um, 5 sixths plus 3 eighths. So 5 sixths, so this is, this is 1 half right here. Okay, so what I can do is just say, well, anything that's on this line here is one half. Anything that's close to that line is one half. Anything that's close to this side is zero. Anything that's close to this side is one. So five, six would be right here. One, two, three, four, five. That's right here. It's close, much closer to one than, um, than it is to one half. Much better than my earlier drawing. Um, three eighths. So let's see, eighths is one, two, three. Three eighths is right here. Now that is about one half. So then I would um, add one plus one half, and I get one and a half. So you can use the fraction strips to do this if you're really, really stuck, but I would prefer that you just use these tips, or at least get to this eventually, because this is what you will need to rely on uh, later on. You will not always have fraction strips with you. And the purpose of estimating is to be able to get uh, an approximate answer very, very quickly. And so relying on this would um, defeat the purpose. But getting used to these tips, these rules of thumb, will uh, really help you to be able to do these very quickly in your head.